On behalf of the President of English Pen, the Board of Trustees and the Director, it gives me great pleasure to award you the 2012 Golden Pen Award for an outstanding achievement in literature over your lifetime. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've uh, prepared a few, uh, some notes, and I would like to read from them. I would like to thank English Pen for nominating me for this year's Golden Pen Award. I was taken aback, incredulous even, when I received the email from Gillian Slovo, English Pen's president, informing me of the award. I've always seen myself as someone nearer the margins of the English literary scene than the center. I belong to a little tradition of Caribbean verse. I am a child of the Caribbean artist movement, founded by Kamau Brathwaite, Andrew Selke and John LaRose in the 60s, a movement that sought to create an alternative Caribbean aesthetic to the dominant colonizing canon of English literature, an independent aesthetic rooted in the history, culture, languages and oral tradition of the Caribbean peoples. It is from that perspective that I began to write verse dealing with the black experience in Britain. English Pen is committed to defending our freedom of imagination, thought, creativity, speech and action, that it campaigns on behalf of writers who are persecuted and oppressed by the state and promotes solidarity and human rights. So to be nominated for the Golden Pen Award for my lifetime's achievement is for me truly an honor to be cherished. And finally, I would like to say that whatever I have achieved in literature is due, ironically, to the power of reggae music because reggae has been and still is the main vehicle through which my verse has been spread around the world. Once again, thank you very much for the Golden Pen Award. Not as much as the check, but... No, watch your Mr. Man. I don't like the way you tan, and your tans are too long, you know, man. I meditate here, I meditate upon the same song so long. Well, hear me, man. I don't preach, I don't teach. I just assure you how I see it. Because the truth well sweet, just like an African beat, like when you see where you're coming from, like when you sight which part you reach. So I don't care if you want vex or even go on like you're perplexed. I'm going to show you when I say, Mr. Man. You just sit down and fall up like a cabbage. Like say you got no understanding, got no knowledge. Like say you still no realize say I just the other day we chuck off the choking chains of bandage. That in spite of the hatred and disadvantage, though we slip up and stumble upon the way, we still reach far down Freedom Street, still mindful of the minefields upon the way. So may I beg you, Mr. Man, please come out of your shell. We can't dwell in the past that lasts forever, you know, my brother. Now that the sun has shine bright, please come out of the dual drums of the dark night. History bigger than me are you, you know. Time can't steal, but it can heal. So shake the dew from out your head, wipe the cobweb from your face. We got enough work for do, for we not reach Mount Zion yet. Yes, we put down a solid foundation for true, and one and two are are we well I get true for true? But we still not build the new Jerusalem yet. The time gonna come again, you can bet. When we are gonna march on again, you hear my friend? Mobilize with woman and we friend them again. Even the picnic them are gonna join in again. For freedom is not no ideology. Freedom is a human necessity. It can't depend upon no one somebody. It's up to each and every one away. Me not preach, me not teach, me just assure you how me see it. Because the truth well sweet, just like an African beat, like when you see where you're coming from, like when you sight which part you reach. So me not care if you are vex or even go on like you're perplexed. Me just assure you when me say, Mr. Man. I hope that um, by conferring this award on me, um, I hope that it means that in the future, um, there will be a greater awareness by English pen of black writers in Britain and also
a greater awareness and involvement by black writers in Britain in the activities of English pen.